I often travel to New York to meet with beauty editors to update them on our latest seasonal colors and the amazing products that we're developing. And on a recent trip, I tried an online budget hotel site. And I was really proud of myself because I got this great deal. I woke up the next morning, got in the shower, and I was horrified to find out that there was no conditioner. I have long hair. I had to find something to make sure that I didn't show up looking like I had a rat's nest on my head. Luckily, I thought of our awesome cuticle oil. I ripped the roller ball off of the top of the bottle, slathered my hair in cuticle oil, and then shampooed afterwards. I got so many compliments on my hair that day. It was so shiny, it smelled wonderful. I was really proud of myself for having rescued uh, what was a potential beauty disaster. So I invited my team here tonight to share some of their beauty tips and how they saved themselves from potential fashion and beauty disasters. And I want to invite you to listen in. Well, thanks you guys for coming and for sharing your stories about how to rescue yourself when you're in a pinch. Can we start with you, Molly? Absolutely. The tips that I figured out on accident but became part of my beauty routine is using eyeshadow as eyeliner. It's really nice because you can use it like lightly as a powder for an eyeshadow or if you like moisten your brush and use it as an eyeliner. It's nice to mix up the colors a little bit. But the other tip that I have that I've used in a pinch is using clear mascara as hair gel. Because sometimes like those little flyaway hairs will not do what you want them to, but mascara will work. You always have awesome tips, Patty, so I'm dying to hear yours. I do have a lot of beauty tips, but I have one in particular that is not sexy, <laughs> not glamorous, but I'm telling you it works. So oftentimes, you know, when you get that phone call after work and it's like, hey, meet me for happy hour, and you're like, oh, and you want to go home and take a shower and get pretty, and it can't happen, and you're a little funky, you know, like you're in summer heels and your feet, and you're kind of sticky and antibacterial hand spray, hand sanitizer that almost everybody has in their purse, but you spray a little ch -ch -ch on your feet, in your shoes, Good to go. and it reduce, it eliminates the odor, it, it freshens you up, and it helps to reduce the, um, the perspiration. So Jordan, what's your story? So I cannot go anywhere without green tea in my purse. Not only is it like my daily pick-me-up, I use it when I just didn't get a lot of sleep the night before. Tea bags are great to put on your eyes. When you're in a rush and you don't have time to shave very well, um, it's great, <laughs> it's, which is a lot. It's great for razor burn as well. So I highly recommend just throwing a bag of tea in your purse and you're good to go. Soak on your yeah, skin. yeah. Oh, that's a great show. That's really that was clever. Jane when you shaved in the cab. And <laughs> So Amy and I were headed to New York to do some beauty editor interviews and we had to take a much, much later flight than we'd anticipated and we got in super late um, and had to run to our first interview and um, so I shaved my legs in the cab. <laughs> what I couldn't believe is that she asked me for the razor and then actually dry shaved right there in the cab. Oh I was like, that had to hurt. If only I knew about the tea bags. <laughs> so you have a story, Gabby. Mm -hmm. I was getting ready for one of our formal dances on my sorority, and of course I had like 15 minutes to get ready. I went into my room and I was like almost hyperventilating. I was like, what do I do? Like, help me out. And my roommate's like, Gabby, it's okay, you don't need to shower, just use baby powder. And she just kind of sprinkled it in my hair and started combing it. And it actually takes out like all the grease and nobody would ever know that I didn't shower that day. How about you, Amy? For all your pumps that get scuffed either on the tip or on the heel, a black Sharpie, especially if it's black shoe, obviously, <laughs> um, and take your Sharpie and just fill in the little spots and looks like a brand new shoe. <laughs> it also works actually on little bleach spots on your black clothing. Just take a little black Sharpie, oh my gosh. totally I fixes it. I've never done that before, that's so smart. Oh my gosh, I have learned so much tonight. <laughs> we are all going to be even more beautiful starting tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for coming and sharing your awesome tips. Oh, thanks for having us. It was super fun. Cheers.